Hello, this is your video tutorial for the abstract submission process for ASM Microbe 2024. Uh, my name is Mary McKee and I am the Senior Program Officer with Care and Feeding of All Things Microbe and Microbe Related. All right, let's get into it. ASM uses a single sign-on um, to access the submission portal. So if you don't already have an account, um, go ahead and set one up here. That'll feed into all of the systems that ASM uses um, and that you will use for registration and uh, ultimately attending the conference. All right, sign in. As you sign in, you'll be brought into the submission portal. Okay, so this is the back end view of my portal here. Um, and I wanna point out a couple of things. This lists the different types of abstract submissions that you can choose from early and regular. I do wanna point out the deadlines for early submissions as December 5th, noon Eastern time in the US. And then regular submission is January 23rd, also at noon Eastern time. Those are hard deadlines. We will not be extending them and we will not accept late abstracts. Okay, depending on the type of submission that you want to pursue, uh, make sure that you choose that option. We'll come, in, come down and select one in a second, but make sure that you read all of this information here. Before you start the submission, if you do not have updated or current disclosures with ASM, take a second to do that. Um, I've got instructions here. If this is your first time into the system or you don't have any, any disclosures on record, there will be um, a little icon to tell you that you need it. I think it rests usually down here. Or you can come up here to the drop down, click on disclosures. That'll pull up another page and you can complete your disclosure and then update it, close it, save it, and you'll come back to here. Okay, so for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to select an early abstract. And remember, if you need uh, to have a decision sooner rather than later for visa purposes, I would suggest doing an early abstract submission. Okay. You'll still get your decision um, in December, but you won't get your sessioning information until uh, the end of February, but at least you'll have something in process and in paper towards the end of December. All right, select new. All right. Please be sure to read all of these instructions here. This tells you a little bit about the deadlines that we need and you need to select all of them. And each field is required. Oops. Okay, well, things I wanna point out, the submitting author is considered the presenting author. Um, the presenting author must register for the event using the same email address used for the abstract submission. So don't register, don't submit your abstract with your professional email, but then register with your Hotmail address. It all needs to be the same thing again, because ASM uses an SSO. Now we do have a deadline in place for the submitting and presenting author to register um, in order that in order for the posters to be numbered appropriately, you must be registered by the by April 1st um, or your abstract will be withdrawn. ASM does not offer registration waivers. So keep that in mind. There is an early bird registration date of March 15th, but April 1st is your drop dead, drop dead date for registration. All right, in this step, oh, I should back. In this step, you'll be entering your title. Here's everything you need to know about what to put in there. Um, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to be very easy and just say, Mary, Demo test 14. We will save and continue this. This will format it automatically. Okay. Here on the left side are all the steps to, of the submission. And if you'd like, you can hop between them. Um, not just not review my work, obviously, but you can hop between them as you as you fill them out. This is just a reminder of what your title, what you put in for your title. I'm going to save and continue and move on for this. Okay. This, like I said, ASM uses an SSO. It's going to pull in all of the information um, contained within your record. Um, I do want to point out that all the communications from ASM will be with the presenting author only. And again, submitting author is presenting author. And every communication you receive is going to come from this address. So please make sure that um, you regularly check your spam folder for, for messages from this address or that you white, white, whitelist it and pull it from your junk. Okay, so for this, I'm going to give myself an upgrade and say that I am both an MD and a PhD. Um, I work at ASM. I think I am an assistant professor today. Institution address that automatically populated. Here's my email address. Additional information, we do want this. This is if you're planning to apply for a travel grant, this is key. This is helpful. All right, so I am white. I am a woman. And so and save and continue. Follow through. Um, if you wanted to add an additional author, uh, you could add a group or you could add a single person. We'll just add a single person. 
for purposes of this demonstration, I will pull one of my colleagues. All right, it is helpful that an account already be set up with ASM. It's not required, um, if you're listing co-authors, it's not required that they have a, um, a set, an already established ASM account, but it does help. You'll note I searched for Elizabeth's first and last name and I came up with the, the listing that they had for Elizabeth. Um, parts of her email address are blocked out, that's for privacy reasons, but she's the person that I want, I'm going to add her. Okay. And this is her information. Let's see what is due for her. We do need to give her PhD. We need to say that she worked for the NIH. Actually, I'm give her ASM. She is also an assistant professor, and that's her email address. Um, there is no demographic information for your co-authors. We don't ask that you provide that. Okay, so Elizabeth is saved. And just make sure after every step, you're hitting save and continue. All right, keyword step. Um, this is this the committee in uh, pulling together the abstracts that they want to select for their poster sessions, any of the oral sessions. Um, you can look up the keyword here. I don't know if I may lose the screen if I do this. Let's see. I'm going to pop up here. You can go through and pull from here or just see what's already established as a keyword. Or you can enter things that are related to your abstract that you know off the top of your head. So for mine, I'm going to say Vibrio. I'm going to say Biofilm. And I'm going to say Coil. Save and continue. Okay, please take a look at this. The total character count for your abstract is 2200, um, but note that it does not include table or graphics in the overall character count. Um, you should not include the abstract title, the authors of the keywords and the abstract text. Um, do not use Time New, Times New Roman as your font. Special scientific characters may be included and then headers, while well, they aren't included, uh, note if you're there's a difference in the required um, subject matter, depending on if you're submitting as a clinical track or as a basic track. And note for Mac users here. Okay, you can upload a file, you can add an image, you can create a table, or you can enter your abstract text. Um, I don't have anything ready to go, so I will fill this in just this way. And it's to get to the minimum character count here for purposes of this test. Save and continue. Okay, scroll down. You'll see I'm at 676, total of 181 words. I'm happy with this. I will save and continue. Um, okay, now we come to the presentation preference, and I'd like you to pay attention to this session. ASM offers you two opportunities for presentation. One being you can or for submission, you can submit to be considered for a poster only, or you can submit to be considered for a poster or oral. Um, different criteria for that. Um, we have links to the poster track presentations or the rapid fire presentations once we get down to poster oral. There's a little bit of conditional logic in this session. So consider what type of presentation you want to make. Is it just gonna be a poster or is it gonna be, um, you wanna try your chances for an oral symposium? So click on this drop down. For this second, I'm gonna do poster only. If I'm doing poster only, this is the section that I come to, and then I choose the track and subtrack. So for this one, I think I want to be clinical infec infections and vaccines within CIV07, infection biology and control and dynamics, click that. And then I would come down and click save and continue to go to the next screen. But let me back it up. I'm gonna come back up and show you how the poster or oral selection process would work. Let's clear this out. All right, I want to do a poster or oral. Here we go. I will skip over poster only, come down to poster or oral. Um, here you can submit directly into the abstracts or the sessions that are going to be accepting abstracts within the in-depth symposia roster. Um, here are the tracks that are accepting um, abstracts within their sessions. Note, um, everything is available here with the exception of the professional microbiology track. They are not going to be accepting abstracts into their oral symposia. But take a look at that. Again, you can uh, look at the in-depth symposia. You can click this link here. That'll take you out to um, a description of each of the in uh, symposia that will be accepting abstracts. So you can see where your abstract might best fit. And then we've got information about poster talk presentations and rapid fire presentations. Those are the lower tier of uh, abstract presentation in an oral setting. Okay, so for this one, 
I would need to choose the subtract for this. I'm going to say I am a mine fits best in AAR09, antimicrobial properties of plants and natural products. Um, and then from this list, I can choose only one. I must come in here to AAR, click choose this one. We'll just say that that is a match. Save and continue. This takes us to the next step. All right, event license. This is a bunch of legalese that you need to read and review. Affirm the following statements. I'm gonna sign it that way. Okay, if you are applying for a travel award, take a minute, read the information on this page. There's links out to all the travel awards that are available. For purposes of this demonstration, I will say yes, I want to apply for a travel award. Um, and I will choose the infectious disease travel ID award and then indicate my current status. I will say that I am a student. Save and continue. Okay, you're gonna to need to add, upload a file. Let's see if I can pull my, it's gonna be like X, choose file. And it's awesome. Better, save and continue, I'm uploading that file. Okay, my letter has been uploaded. I will save and continue that. Okay, here we come to um, just sort of a cheat sheet for your disclosure information. You'll see as a submitter, my abstract or my um, disclosure status is current. Elizabeth is also current. Um, if you needed, if you wanted to tickle Elizabeth to get her disclosure sent, you could send her an email. This is not required. Um, the co-author co does not need to have um, a current Disclosure, although it does help, um, but comes in here, click save and continue and move to the next. All right, this is your confirmation page. At this stage of the game, your abstract is complete. What does complete mean? Complete means that your abstract for our purposes is finished. Um, and if it is still complete upon the reaching the deadline, it will be moved over to finalized status before being moved into review. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and finalize this abstract, scroll down and hit this button. Um, but if you do that, you do not have an opportunity to edit the abstract. As a complete abstract, you could walk away from this now. You'll get a confirmation email with a link so you could come back into your abstract and then make any edits you wanted to make to it up until the deadline. Um, and at the deadline, we'll move that completed abstract over into finalized status. But if you're, if you're set with everything that you want to do here, scroll down, Click finalize and submit, and then it will be in ASM system and move promptly into review on December 6th. If you have any questions, please contact uh, ASM meeting programming. That, that was the email address I flagged earlier. Before you submit, please take a few minutes and read through all of the information available on the website and then all of the information available in the portal that will answer all of your questions. And if you've got any questions beyond that, reach out and someone will get back to you. Good luck with your submissions and we hope to see you in 2024 in Atlanta.